Okay, this is the Titanic thing. My heart will go on. Yeah, it's a very famous tune. And uh, you can play it very, very nice. Very romantic, this tune. So here we go. We play uh, a C in the left hand. A G. An F. And a G again. You've got an A minor in here as well. These are all basic chords. If you don't know these chords, you need to learn them. Go into your booklet, learn the chords. I'm not going to go through the chords names on this particular video. Or the letters in them. What you can do though is play inversions. So you've got a C here, you can go down to a G. Notice what I've done there, just move the top two notes down. And then I go up to F, A, C and F, and then back to G here. And I'm hardly using my hands, I'm hardly moving it. An A minor can be there, G can be there, F can be there, G can be there, A minor can be there. You know, you can just, you can just move like that. The right hand. Very self-explanatory, right hand. Very easy. This is a bit tricky. You play an F chord, G chord, then C, the A minor. This is where we imagine Jack. Dying in the ocean when he could have actually just been on the ice, you know, with with the, with the lady. I can't even remember her name, the lady, Kate Winslet's character. Why he was in the ocean, I have no idea. But the tune's sad. It goes well with it. Scene there, very emotional. You can make it sound emotional by kind of going when it comes to the end of it, nice and slow and slow down, and then the end, drag it out, drag it out. And there you go. Finally, the film's finished, and the main character's dead. Not exactly a cheery film, not exactly a cheery piece, but quite easy to play and quite a beautiful tune. Um, from the famous James Horner. Sadly, he's not with us now, but uh, James Horner is a very good composer, wrote a lot of things. Check his work out as well. Uh, go on to YouTube, have a listen to James Horner's work. It's very good. So that's My Heart Will Go On. Hope you enjoyed that.